welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a Chanel lipstick haul. So a few of you guys have been mentioning in the comments that you want to see like a Chanel lipstick collection, a lipstick haul. So I thought, why not? And honestly, I was kind of hesitating to do it because it just seemed like a very daunting task. So I feel like I honestly don't have that many. Well, I mean, that's a lie, I have a lot. But I feel like I still have a good balance of other products as well. I just first, I don't know, in my head I was thinking I only have Chanel lipstick, like lip products. But then I was like, actually, like my drawers are still very full even though I just like took every Chanel product out. So before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. So I thought I would just show you guys the products, give you guys a swatch, and also give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the product itself. So this is the behind the scenes this is what I look at when I'm filming a video normally I have my little mini tripod so here is the mess these are my makeup brushes that are all dirty um, and here are all the lip products so let's go ahead and do that so I think we're gonna start off with the original liquid lipsticks from Chanel. I don't know why they felt the need to repackage them. I guess like liquid lipsticks became popular, but Chanel used to do these like a long time ago. So you have like one side that is the lip color and then one side is that is the gloss. This one is called Plum Desire. This one is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this one is discontinued. I also have the shade called Shocking Pink in these liquid lipsticks this one is so pink it's so good like it's so gorgeous for summer look at that with like a blue mascara or like cobalt liner gorgeous and then this one is called a dazzling bronze oops i put way too much And then this one here is part of their new collection for liquid lipsticks. This is 164 called Enthusiasta. This is their Rouge Allure ink. I believe these ones were called Double Intensité or Double Intensity because you have like the lipstick, like lipstick and then lip gloss, so like double intensity. So let's do a swatch of this one. This I really like. Let me just do a swatch down here. Ooh, yeah, that is like my shade, like an orangey, a warm tone, red. Ooh, gorgeous. Um, I do have to say that like I do like the textured formula of these like the new liquid lipsticks a bit more than the old ones So maybe it's a good thing that they like remade them I feel like you guys get to see like behind the scenes <laughs> with this way because like you get to see like my makeup storage and like some random bits and bobs that I use for makeup Okay, so let's move on. We did the liquid lipsticks um, Let's go ahead and do the lip lacquers because I honestly feel like the Chanel lip lacquers are totally underrated This is the Rouge Allure Gloss number 17 in Supreme. I think they still make these I hope they do if they don't I'd be very sad I haven't bought one in a while, but they are fantastic and they have that little click Which is so satisfying and yeah, their the texture is great and they're just super pigmented Ooh, this one's another really hot pink, which I love. I'm really bad at doing swatches apparently. Sorry guys um, But yeah, it's just what I like about these is that the texture is like very thick and glossy and The glossiness kind of dissipates after a while. However, the color stains your lips, which is fantastic So next up in the Rouge Allure Gloss is number 16. This is Extase So 16 is definitely more of a light baby pink, but they're both gorgeous. And you can like build them up as well, like if you want to have them more opaque or if you want them to be lighter, you can definitely build it up as well. And then I have two more shades in the Rouge Allure ink. I also have number 12 and number 19. Number 12, when I first got it, I was like, are you kidding me? Because when you see this, it looks like pumpkin orange, but I swear it is such a beautiful shade to wear in the summer because it just like melts into your lips and turns into like this gorgeous peachy shade and yeah like it just becomes so beautiful and peachy and it's just so nice in the summer when you have like a little bit of a tan and lots of bronzer it's a gorgeous color if you have a chance definitely try this one it is definitely worth it i mean at first you see it and you're like what pumpkin orange no thanks but yeah it's really nice and then of course number 19 pirate which is like chanel's like classic blue toned red and so they have it in different formulas but this is just like a really gorgeous red and i feel like a lip gloss or a lip lacquer 
is a great way to start wearing reds if you're not ready to wear like a really bold matte lip because a lip lacquer or lip gloss is always going to be like a bit more subtle and a bit softer. So I just realized that I've got two of the Rouge Allure glosses. This is number 24. This is called Expressive. This is like just a really nice brown. It's good for like the fall. Ugh with like a warm smoky eye, gorgeous. And then this is number 21 called Distinction. Almost like um, plummy raisin, like a deep, like a raisin red, it's gorgeous. So let's do these glosses. These are the older glosses. These are the Glossomers, I think they're called. I'm quite certain that these ones in particular are no longer available. However, they did redo the entire line. Um, I haven't actually bought any of them because I just have so much already that I like can't really justify buying new ones, but I guess if I throw out some of these, I can buy new ones. Hmm, okay. So I like my argument. <laughs> so this is number 182. I don't think these ones had names. Some of them do, some of them don't. Um, so yeah, let's just do a swatch. Ooh, that one's really pretty. The weird sound. And then this one here, 181, I love. It is gorgeous. It's like a peachy nude pink. It's gorgeous on its own or like on top of a lip liner or lipstick. It's so nice and it's so flattering to so many um, skin tones. I'm certain that they like reformulated this into the new collection because it's just so beautiful. And then this one, oh my God, 144, I love. It looks like cotton candy or bubble gum or like, I don't know, just like gorgeous and so pink. And I find that like these old Glossomers, like they're pretty true to color. Like when you swatch them, like obviously it's a gloss, so it's not going to be as opaque as a lipstick, but I find that they're pretty true to color. So sometimes I wear this shade with this over top, like this is the number 16 um, Rouge Allure Gloss. So like this underneath with like this over top, like just mixing those together is really nice too. Now, this one is so old. This is 169 Jalousie. I'm having a hard time throwing it out because I love the shade so much and I haven't really found anything that's like really like a dupe. So this is like almost like a fuchsia lip lacquer. Well, it's like a lip gloss actually. But yeah, it's like it's a fuchsia color and it's so pretty. I guess like what, like this one here, the Rouge de Gloss is like kind of close. No, not this one, oops. Maybe this one? Um, I'm kind of. I mean, I feel like it's not really the same thing. This one, the gloss has more purple than anything else, which is not something that I've been able to find. It's so shiny. But yeah, if you guys know a good dupe for this shade here, this is like this fuchsia pink blue toned gloss, let me know. And then this one also is like super old. This is 186. I don't even know why I keep this. I mean, I keep it because it's like, it looks like a pink popsicle, um, but yeah, it's clear. Like it's like has a little bit of a pink undertone to it, like as a gloss, but it's like pretty much a clear lip gloss. And yeah, that's it here. It's cute, but like, I think it's just like, I'm looking at this like, oh my God, a pink popsicle, yes. And then what is this one? Number 794. Oh, this, oh, so this is new. These are the new glosses. So they kind of look like the exact same. I think the difference is in the applicator. Like these old ones had an applicator like this. Let me just do a little swatch here or zoom in. So the, the old ones look like this. And the new ones look like they're more shaped to your lip. Like they're curved. That's really pretty. It's like peachy. I mean, like I feel like this, this is 794, kind of looks like 181. I mean, it's they're obviously different, but let me just do a swatch closer to 181. I mean, you can kind of see it, but there's still like something special about 181 that isn't quite the exact same, but there is like some similarity. I totally forgot that I had one of the new glosses, makeup hoarder problems. Okay, so next up, these are the new ones. These are the Rouge Coco lip blushes. I did a review on these a while ago. So these are like lip and cheek um, colors. I didn't love these, but I think I also didn't like use them properly at first. Like I tried to use them on my eyes, which definitely was not ideal. But I think if you use them properly, you probably like them more. 
So that is really dark. This is a number 420. This is actually like really pretty and I feel like you could like definitely like sheer it out if you want to use it as a blush or like a lip stain. It's really pretty. So this is number 414. This is also really cute. These definitely feel like super creamy. I feel like if you had dry lips, you would like these because they're so like creamy and like kind of oily. So maybe they'd just be like super hydrating. Okay, so next up are the Rouge Coco Shine. I took off the caps on some of these because like I just thought it would make swatching easier. This is number 44 in Sarido. This came out like two years ago, I think. This is so pretty. It's like an orangey coral color. Well, I guess more orange, but like this entire collection, like the um, Rouge Coco Shine, are like super creamy and buttery. They're almost like a lip balm that's like super pigmented. So like this is this one here, gorgeous. This one is number 95 Viva. This one is so old. Like I probably should throw it out. Like it's really old. But again, it's like such a pretty color. Like it's so pretty that I have a hard time letting go of it because I'm like, ooh, it's like pink fuchsia shade. I feel like Chanel went through a phase where like they made a lot of hot pinks like this and then they kind of just stopped. I don't know why. And then number 87, also an older shade, is called Rendezvous, which again is so pretty. It's like a bubblegum pink. And then, ooh, number 99. This is one of the newer-ish ones, Melancholy. This is really pretty. Like when you see it, like kind of like, oh, just like a brown lip color, but it's actually like so super nice and it's like so like warm and it's like glossy and it kind of has like a gold effect to it like a gold shimmer honestly like in the fall with like a warm eyeshadow look this is stunning so this one is the iconic number 54 boy i don't know why this one was so popular i mean i guess it is really nice it's like that your lips but better shade it's like kind of pink kind of brown kind of muted down but like it's so glossy and pretty it is really nice but i guess like for me I don't love nudes. I mean, as you can tell, I'm kind of like going crazy over these like hot pinks and like oranges, but it is really nice. Like if you have never tried Boy and you kind of want to try it out, I do think it is worth it. And then we have number 69, Flirt, which is, it is different from um, Sarido because I feel like Flirt is definitely more pastel in a way. Like Sarido is like really orange and then like Flirt is like almost like pinky and like more light. It's not as opaque in the orangeness. Okay, so next up, this is one of the ones that I got. Um, I think this was the fall collection. This was limited edition. This is the regular Rouge Allure, but this was like special packaging and just gorgeous. This is number four. I think the, I'm, if I'm guessing properly, it's like an orangey red. I mean, wow, what a surprise. It's a red lipstick. I mean, how many can I have? I mean, never enough, obviously. So this is this shade here. It's so pretty. And I just love the packaging, like the red, like, ooh, yes. So let's go through the rest of the Rouge Allure lipsticks. I think the Rouge Allure collection is probably like my favorite out of like all the Chanel lipsticks because they do have a little creaminess to them so that they don't dry out your lips, but they do last a really long time. So these are like my favorite like line of lipsticks in the Chanel collection. So let's start with this one here. This is one, 165 Iblouissant. This is one that I'm wearing in the video today. Pretty. Everyone needs a pretty pink in their lipstick collection. And this is number 136 Milladeuse. This one is like a little bit more daring. I feel like I haven't worn it that much, as you can see, but I feel like I want to wear this like in the summer with like a really nice tan. Maybe if it was like a little bit more orange instead of pink, because as you can see, it is really pink. It's like a very pink coral color, but it is very pretty. And then this is number 58. This is one of the newer ones. This is Rouge Vie. This is a gorgeous color. So it's a red, but it's like a darker red, maybe a little bit more brown, but yeah, gorgeous, stunning, love it. And then this is number 63, Nightfall. Oh, also a lovely, lovely color. I feel like it's a little bit more red. I feel like this one is like a bit more of a rusty brown red. And this one's like a bit more, it has a bit more blue, I think. And then we have number 104, Passion, or Passion. This was my go-to for so long. It's like just 
that true blue, blue undertone red, this one here. And then number 47, L'Amoureuse. This is a really pretty shade. Like if this has like some purple to it, it's a really pretty. Oh my goodness, I just realized that this one here, um, L'Amoureuse is a velvet one. So it's supposed to be like matte, but it's not that matte. And apparently also um, this one here, Rouge Vie, number 58. I think this is this one here. Um, is a bit more matte. Let's see, yeah. So I mean, it is kind of matte, but it's like, I don't know, it's still quite shimmery. Like not shimmery, but it's like, it has a satin texture to it, like it feels very creamy. So I think this is when like maybe Chanel decided to like redo their matte lipstick version because this is not really that matte in my opinion. But I, in all honesty, I kind of prefer a matte lipstick like this because otherwise it just kind of like dries out your lips too much. So yeah, Le Moureuse is supposed to be a matte. I mean, it kind of is, but like it's still, there's still some moisture there. And then this is number 57, Rouge Feu, which is also a Rouge Allure Velvet. This one I have worn a lot and love. This one feels more matte than the other ones. Like even just the texture of it feels more matte than the other ones. And yeah, it's just like a really warm toned orange red, which I love so much. Okay, so we are winding down. So we have the Rouge Coco left and also a couple um, luxury samples that I have received. This one is a Rouge Allure Velvet and this one is a Rouge Allure. So this is a number 99, this is Pirate. It's also just like another beautiful classic red. Love it. And then this is number um, 43, La Favorite. Oh, it does feel different. Like the texture does feel different. So this is the velvet collection. So the more matte ones. And then this is just like the regular lipsticks. So there is like a little bit more shine to this one. But... Um, okay, so let's move on to the Rouge Coco. This is number 418, Missia. This is lovely. This is one of those like orangey brick lipsticks that's like flattering on a lot of skin tones. Like, I don't know, it's just like really nice. And this is number 428 called Legend. I don't really know why I bought this one because honestly, it's kind of like a more mature shade. I don't know, it's just like, it's okay. It's not wow, it's not great, it's okay. It's just like a dusty rose pink, you know, which is fine, but I'm just like not wowed by it. But it is like super easy to wear. Like you can pretty much wear this with like any makeup look. Like it's not very like, it's not very pink. It's not very, yeah, it's pretty neutral, I guess. So you can kind of wear it with anything you want. So I guess that's kind of nice. And then last but not least, this is probably my all-time favorite Chanel lipstick ever. This is the Rouge Coco number 440 called Arthur. This is just, it's gorgeous. And like, as you can see, like I'm kind of wearing it down to the bottom. I guess that means I'll have to go shopping. Oh well. This is, for me, just like that perfect warm tone red lipstick. And since it is part of the Rouge Coco line, it is a bit more hydrating than the Rouge Allure. And it's just, it's a perfect color for me. Like it's a warm tone red in the summer, in the winter, I don't care. It's gorgeous. If you have not tried this, Rouge Coco 440 Arthur, run, don't walk, chew the counter to go try it on. I love this. This is like my all time favorite Chanel lipstick. All right, there you guys go. That is my Chanel lipstick, lip gloss, lip lacquer hoard. Honestly, I feel like it could be much worse. I feel like some of you are probably watching this like surprised, maybe underwhelmed by the amount of Chanel lip products that I have. I honestly feel like it could be much worse and I'm like rationalizing to myself why I should buy more. I have a real makeup hoarding problem. When I was coming up with the idea for this video, I was thinking, oh, this will be cool. This will be one of those like declutter videos that you're seeing on YouTube right now. But then I realized if I do a declutter video, that means I'm supposed to throw out some of these lipsticks. I don't think so. I'm gonna keep my makeup hoard. I'm like smug the lipstick dragon. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see next. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. So I think this is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.